Welcome to Harris Atlantic City. This is our first time ever in Atlantic City. When I tell you guys, we drove over 900 kilometers from Toronto, which is roughly over 500 miles just to be here. We are currently situated in a Bayview King Tower room in Harrah's. Let's do a tour. So as you first walk in, you do have your double door closet here. It's a decent amount of space in here. I will say it is a bit dark. You, your safe and everything is in here, which is nice as well. So at least that way, you know, you can keep all your stuff safe and secure, probably for the best. You do have a nice full length mirror at the door here, which again, you know how I love that. You gotta check yourself before you're going to the casino. There's actually a lot of mirrors in here. I'll show you some more in a second, but let's check out the bathroom. So the bathroom is one of the big reasons we chose this room. Right off the bat, you've got this really, really large, spacious shower with the glass doors. You know I love that. You've also got this deep soaking tub, which, you know, I'm not a tub guy, but I know Cody really appreciates it, especially if you've been walking around a lot. After that drive and sitting all that time, probably gonna need to check that tub out actually. This vanity area is really nice as well. I will say there are some touches that like, I feel like mm, there's a lot of rust down there, which at first I thought it was supposed to be like that, kind of like that, not rustic look, but kind of you know interesting look. No, it's just full on rust. So questionable anyway. I do like the, it's a little dark in here. I mean, the lighting is sort of very dim, so I don't love that, but I do like the spacious vanity. I like that you have some storage up here as well if you wanna throw all your stuff up there and not have it in the vanity, sort of cluttered in the area. At least you have some shelves in there to keep it all kind of organized. I do appreciate the fact they have this separate toilet area, this little water closet. So if you do, you know, need to do your thing, you can still do that while someone else is showering or whatever, getting ready, you can have some privacy. Nice touch. And actually, it smells pretty good in here. Let's go check out the rest of the room. You do have the adjoining door here as well if you do have someone next door, which is nice. Say you're staying here with your significant other, you got your kids next door. It's always good to have. We are making sure that's locked though because I don't want anybody coming in here. You have a nice little vanity area here. As I mentioned, the bathroom is a little bit on the darker side, so you do have this nice vanity area here. Pull out chair here if you want to you know, do your makeup or your hair or whatever the case is. Nice lighting there. You also do have the mini fridge, which you guys know I'm excited about. So you got the mini fridge. Little coffee area here. So you do have the option to make coffee in the room, which is nice. They just supply the cups, they supply the coffee, the coffee machine, all that. Really appreciate that. Storage wise, there's not a whole lot. There are a few drawers here, which, you know, are okay. But I was surprised to see, I'll show you in a second over in the bed area, but anyway. You also do have this desk area here if you need to get any work done. Perfect amount of space, nice and clean. I like that. The bed, we've got a king size bed in here, as mentioned. I always appreciate when they have these little areas here if you want to throw your suitcase on here or you need to put your shoes on or whatever the case is. Nice and handy. The bed, I will report back on how comfy the bed is. Obviously, we just got here, so I'm going to need that bed to be honest with you after the drive we had here. But anyway, it looks pretty comfortable. As mentioned, I was surprised with the Lack of drawers here. Usually they will have some kind of a drawer here just to throw your things in. These do not open, which, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below because I don't see anywhere that they can open. The one plus side is they do have your USB, some plugs, you can use to charge your phone, things like that, that's good. Another little sitting area here, so, you know, you wanna have a glass of wine and relax before you head out. You also have another mirror right behind, which I know, you know you're probably getting <laughs> Cody's reflection in. But uh, yeah, it is nice to have another mirror in here. Again, it does, I, my, my place personally, I have a lot of mirrors. It does kind of help with the lighting and kind of open up and make it a little more spacious, which is nice. With this particular room, one great feature we have, we have this sort of chaise kind of lounger here. There's a little bit of wear and tear. I mean, there is a hole right here. I will also mention that when we checked into the room, there was a cigarette butt on the floor. At least it looks like a cigarette. It looks like something that was smoked anyway that was on the floor. I'm pretty sure this is a non-smoking room. So it might even be a non-smoking property if I'm not mistaken. So I'm a little bit surprised to see that. We did call down. They did say they were gonna have to send somebody up to clean it up. It wasn't so much that we wanted someone to clean it up. We just didn't wanna get the blame for that, right? Cause there probably would be some kind of a charge. No one's come yet. So keep an eye out for that. Anyway, 
the one thing I can't quite bring myself to, you know, comprehend is this view. It is a beautiful view of the Atlantic Ocean as well as the rest of, obviously, Atlantic City. You're gonna hear me compare this place to Vegas and to other casino towns that we've been to before because this is our first time here. I don't really have any references to Atlantic City. So you are gonna hear me mention Vegas, for example, because that is somewhere we do attend a lot. So seeing this type of a casino layout next to the ocean just does throw me off because I'm so used to being you know, in a desert, for example. So this is a beautiful view, beautiful scenery. Like I said, we just got here, so we haven't had a chance to fully explore. I know that the one downside it looks like from Harris is that you're not on the boardwalk, you are kind of pulled away. But anyway, we will save all of our final thoughts at the end of this video, so make sure you stay tuned for that. So as mentioned, we did just check in. We are here for two nights. These nights are comped, not because of any special you know things that Caesars is doing for me. This is just through our casino play. As mentioned, this is our very first time in Atlantic City, so we have much to explore, much to do. There's tons of restaurants in here. There's some shopping, there's some entertainment around. We're really excited to be here. Um, if you guys have any ideas below of things to do in Atlantic City, leave them below because this is our first time here and you know, hopefully we will be able to come back again. Like I mentioned, this was a bit of a lengthy drive. This took us about nine hours to get to, you know, full on driving. We did stop last night, which wasn't our original plan. We were gonna come right to uh, from Toronto, but we did end up stopping somewhere on the way about halfway. So we did cheat a little bit there. That said though, Monday when we drive home, we are driving straight home back to Toronto. There will be actually a separate video that's gonna talk about sort of what that's like if you are from Toronto or sort of one of the neighboring areas and thinking of driving to New Jersey or Atlantic City or whatever. I will have a separate video of that experience as well. So stay tuned for that. If it's already done, I will leave a link somewhere, you know, around here for you to check that one out as well. Anyway, we just got here. We wanna go gamble. We wanna go check out what there is to do at Harrah's. So stay tuned for the uh, what we get up to next and make sure you stay to the very end when we do our sort of final thoughts. Also, I forgot to mention, if you are not currently subscribed, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. There's a button right down there. You click that, it really helps me out. Um, you know, it helps me keep delivering this free content to you. Totally free for you, would really appreciate it. Yeah, go do that right now. Anyway, let's go see what else there is to do with Harris. Good morning from Harrah's Atlantic City. Last night we ended up going over to the boardwalk. We uh, checked out uh, Super Frico at Caesars. So if you've been to Vegas, again, you're gonna hear me reference Vegas. If you've been to Vegas, you know about Super Frico. Um, after that, we checked out the show in Super Frico called The Hook, which very similar vibe to like Absinthe or Opium, again, if you've been to Vegas. <laughs> and then they have a little bar there called the Horse Dive Bar, which we checked out afterwards. There will be a separate video for all three of those things in one. So stay tuned for that one. Uh, we haven't really checked out Harris too much, to be honest with you. So we're gonna go downstairs, grab some breakfast, see what Harris has to offer. I will say, proximity-wise to the boardwalk, that would be my one kind of gripe with Harris is that we are a little bit further away. It's not like you kind of just walk outside and be there. It's quite a distance. I think it's about an over an hour walk or so. Uber rides have only been about ten minutes or so, so not too bad. But anyway. That said, we're gonna see what Harris has to offer. We're only here for two days, so we don't have too much time to see. So yeah, gotta take full advantage. Let's go check out Harris. All right, so we ended up just getting something quick. There was a Starbucks downstairs, so we got just some coffee and some sandwiches. But I mean, 20 bucks is for a coffee and a breakfast sandwich, a little pricey, but I guess you sort of expect that when you're in sort of a touristy area like Atlantic City. Anyway, the casino was really, really expansive, really, really big. We're gonna puck down on some machines here, see if we can win some money. Check it when you to bed, wish us luck. So one thing I think is actually kind of neat here is they have like a little meter on your machine that if you keep playing, it tells you when you can order a drink or that you can order right from the machine. So that's kind of handy rather than having to wait for a waitress. It's also, I guess, good for the casino that you're not just pumped on a casino, you know, slot machine, just waiting for a drink. Like it actually, you have to be playing. So yeah, kind of neat. Another long day for the books. So this is sort of the part where, you know, that I hate the most, and that's usually where we're kind of packing up, getting ready to say goodbye to wherever we are, you know, at the time. This time we are in Harrah's at Atlantic City. I'm really glad we got the opportunity to come here. I have always wanted to check out Atlantic City. Um, you know, someone who, you know, as I mentioned in the beginning, you're gonna hear me compare it. Somebody who loves, you know, Las Vegas so much, someone who goes to uh, Niagara Falls so much, a lot of sort of casino-esque 
pounds. I mean, even as someone who's not much of a gambler, um, I just something something about it, just the vibe it gives me, just the 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 sort of carefree uh, good time that everybody you know is obviously you know looking for and sort of feeling. It's just such a great great time, and I think that's just maybe what draws me to it. I also love the water, so being right on the ocean like this is really cool too. I mean, it's not something, you know, living in Toronto that I get to experience too often. There's, you know, lakes everywhere and whatnot. But even today, we did a little bit of a walk on the beach, and it was just, you know, seashells everywhere and everything. It was just so nice. Now, unfortunately, we didn't really get to explore Harris too much. I mean, this property is pretty big. Like I mentioned this morning, we went to Starbucks for a quick bite. Even just now, we went to Pin Up Pizza just to have, you know, something quickly. I mean, it's getting pretty late now. It's almost 10 o'clock. We are actually, it is after 10 o'clock. So, you know, it's getting pretty late. We are, you know, hoping to get up early tomorrow because we do have a really, really long drive. As of now, it's looking like it's going to take us about eight or nine hours to get home. So I do want to get a good sort of jump on that early. That way we can get home at a reasonable time. So, I mean, a couple of key things that I would love to have checked out more at Harris, for example, uh, you know, the restaurant scene. I know there's a lot of great places to eat here. Uh, the main thing is the pool. The pool here is, you know, what most people say is the best pool in Atlantic City. It's really cool. It's an indoor pool. You've got like an atrium sort of surrounding it. Uh, picture, I guess, uh, you know, the inside of the Mirage in Las Vegas, for example. Just looks really picturesque, looks really nice. They keep it at a nice, you know, warm temperature. So you, I guess, sort of feel like you're in a tropical escape. Again, time just was against us. We did not get a chance to check it out. So I'm gutted about that. And maybe that is sort of a reason that maybe we will come back. The thing I don't like about the that pool here, and apparently this goes for a lot of the pools in Atlantic City. I think Caesars is in the same uh, situation. Even if you're a guest staying here, you still need to pay to use the pool. So I think it's something like $20 per couple per room kind of thing. If you're not staying here, I'm pretty sure it's about 30 bucks. Don't quote me on that, but it is somewhere around that, which to me, if you're staying here, you're already paying your resort fee. Why do you have to pay to use the pool? Now, as for our experience at Harris, um, the check-in process started, sort of started a little bit rocky. I mean, I never check in at the kiosk. I always check in with a person. When we first got here though, the check-in line was quite long. After my long drive here, I just wanted to get to the room. So we did actually try to use the kiosk and unfortunately for some reason it didn't work for us. It said we had to actually go see somebody at the front desk. So we did have to wait until you know, a relatively long line. It did move pretty quick though, so I can't complain about that. Uh, we got checked in, got up to the room. As mentioned, it's not the cleanest. I don't know what happened. They did say that our room had been clean and everything, but I mean, it's, you know, looking around, it's not the cleanest. The fact that we had a cigarette butt on the floor, you know, surrounded by ash. We did call to let them know this. They said that they were gonna send someone they never did. We called back. They said that we'd have to request someone come the next day in the morning. So I just cleaned it up myself because I mean, I didn't want us to get the blame for it. And quite frankly, I didn't want to sleep. You could smell the cigarettes as soon as you came in the room. It had that sort of, you know, the odor. So you could tell that someone had been smoking in here. And I'm pretty sure this is a non-smoking room. So yeah, not cool. The other thing about housekeeping is we never actually did get housekeeping, even though we were here for two nights. Uh, we were told that if you wanted housekeeping, you had to call in the morning and ask for it. So whether there was just some miscommunication there or something, I don't know. So we just thought, screw it. We'll just, you know, deal with no housekeeping, keep our towels sort of hung up and, you know, try to deal with it basically. And, you know, ask for the bed, you know, you can see behind me, we never made the bed. So sorry. Speaking of the bed, it was pretty comfortable. Um, I didn't, I didn't sleep the best because of just you know all the stress of traveling and everything i thought i would get a good night's sleep because i didn't get it the best night's sleep the night before um i'm hoping tonight will be better because we did a lot of walking today so i mean yesterday we did a lot of driving so you know i probably wasn't using up much energy but i mean i checked my um my fitbit we did almost twenty five thousand steps today so i'm hoping that will tire me out enough that i will get a decent night's sleep especially the fact that I will be sitting for a very long time tomorrow. So yeah, hopefully we get that all settled. All in all though, no major, major complaints about Harris. Um, you know, like I, I, I can't think of anything super negative to say except for one thing, and that is the location. It's in a beautiful location, don't get me wrong. Like the front of it looks almost, almost reminds me of the Bellagio a little bit, sort of where you pull up and everything, all the, you know, the, the plants, everything. It just, it's really, really beautiful outside. View wise, we've got a beautiful view of the Atlantic Ocean. It's really picturesque. It, you know, as I mentioned in the beginning, it, it is a weird phenomenon for me because I am so used to, you know, you sort of feel like you are in Vegas being in a casino resort and uh, to look outside and see 
you know, an ocean instead of a desert, for example, was just still kind of just hits me strangely. Like I said, today we did the, you know, the walk on the boardwalk quite a bit, you know, on the beach and everything. And I really did enjoy it, actually. It was actually, you know, even though we were, you know, going in and out of casinos and running around all over the place, there was still that sort of a peaceful vacation element. I definitely want to come back here in the summer for sure, just to relax on the beach, uh, enjoy the nice weather. There just seems to be a lot to do. I, I gotta be honest with you, Atlantic City, as much as I did always want to come here, I was a little bit apprehensive. You know, I've heard different views and stories about the safety factor, and I won't sugarcoat anything. There were moments when I was a little bit uncomfortable, you know, especially later at night when we were walking on the boardwalk and there was less people around. I found myself being a little less comfortable. Um, there are some um, homeless people around. There are some people who seem like they might be on some kind of drugs. Um, there were some police here and there, but not as many as I maybe expected to see. And same with security, not as many as I expected to see actually on the boardwalk. In the casinos, yes. So, you know, the casinos, you feel pretty good, but walking around late at night on the boardwalk, I don't know. I still, nothing happened to us. You know, again, touch wood, we were fine, no, no issues, but you still have that sort of feeling in your gut that like, mm, could something happen? You know, I have a sort of strange sense of safety when I'm in Vegas, for example, you know, walking around at all hours of the night on the strip. Maybe I'm naive, but I, I've always felt pretty safe. I know things happen there and things happen everywhere, but there's just something about there that I, I do feel pretty comfortable here. Not 100%. And it could also be because this is my first time here. I'm not familiar with the area. I'm not familiar with sort of the, the vibe and everything. So could be a bit on me as well. But as mentioned, the location of Harris is probably their biggest downfall. It's not on the boardwalk, you know, so you know, we were debating staying at a couple other places. One other option for us was uh, Tropicana, which came up as another place that was comp for us as well. Uh, Caesars was comp just for the one night. So we thought, let's, you know, try and stay somewhere where we had comps both nights. So Tropicana was on the list as well. Then unfortunately things changed. So we ended up just sticking with Harris. Um, I think I would definitely, if I were to come back to Atlantic City, I think I would definitely want to pick somewhere that is on the boardwalk. We had to Uber back and forth, you know, a few times. And I mean, the Ubers weren't crazy expensive. They were maybe around, you know, the 10 to $15 US mark. And it only took about 10 minutes and they actually come pretty quickly as well. So again, no complaints there. But for someone like me, when I'm staying somewhere, I do like to sort of do as little traveling as possible. I like to be able just to sort of walk outside and be where I want to be, you know, maybe walk here and there, but to walk from Harris to sort of the boardwalk area, you're looking at probably about an hour or so. And again, me not knowing the area and not knowing the roads, not knowing where it's safe and potentially where it's not, not something I really want to be doing. All in all though, I mean, like I said, my biggest downfall is that we didn't get to explore Harris enough. Um, didn't get to maybe even explore Atlantic City enough, you know, like for example, today we did wander the boardwalk quite a bit. It said popped in and out to different casinos, everything, but you know, I don't know what I'm looking for when I'm going into these casinos. Like if I'm, again, I hate to reference it, if, if I'm in Vegas, for example, I know, okay, if you go into Bellagio, you gotta go see the gardens. If you go to Mirage, you gotta see the volcano. Here, I don't know. I don't know what are the sort of star attractions for the different uh, casino resorts or the different areas or things like that. So. That's something on me. So I definitely want to do a little bit more research. I tried to do a little bit before I came here. I found a couple uh, channels that were, you know, helpful. Uh, definitely want to try and find some more though. And hopefully, you know, try and find a way to come back here. Even that though, the, tr the, the drive here is, is tough. Um, we tried all different ways to try and figure out how to get here from Toronto. So, you know, flying here was pretty much impossible. There was no direct flights to Atlantic City. There were flights to, uh, Philadelphia, but they were really, really expensive for some reason. Um, there were flights to Newark, which uh, were a little more reasonable, but then you're still looking at a couple hours from Newark to here, Atlantic City. So, you know, either way, we're gonna have to figure out how we get here. Do we rent a car? Do we, you know, get some kind of transportation? I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. So driving just seemed like the, the less fuss way to do it, but all things considered, it was a long drive uh, and we did break it up by, you know, we started Friday night, uh, stayed over at a hotel somewhere you know, off the beaten path <laughs> and then, you know, continued on here in the morning. And uh, it definitely was a little bit better to break up the driving. Um, it was a scenic drive. It was a beautiful drive, but it was a long drive and it was a bit of a boring drive. 
I did just have, you know, our music playing randomly on shuffle, but, uh, you know, other people recommended maybe downloading podcasts or, or whatever. I've never really listened to podcasts. So I don't really know what ones to look for or, you know, so if you have ones, leave them below. Let me know what you guys listen to or if you have super long road trips, what you do. Uh, yeah, be good to know for me and for, you know, other people maybe watching this and also planning to maybe take a trip whether it's to Atlantic City or anywhere. Unfortunately, tomorrow it is gonna be, you know, us driving straight to Toronto. So no no stops besides, you know, gas or, you know, washroom breaks or food or things like that. So no hotels or anything like that. Just one long eight or nine-ish hour drive. Cross my fingers for, you know, no traffic, no issues just to get home get my puppies and be in my bed. One thing I will mention, um, we are at a Caesars property. One thing that, you know, related to Caesars is uh, our experience at Super Freako, uh, The Hook, which was the show, and Horse Dive Par afterwards. Um, I am gonna have a separate video that outlines all that. We cannot recommend it enough. Um, if you are somebody who's got, you know, a really, you know, good sense of humor and, you know, aren't easily offended, can have a laugh. Um, I think the show, The Hook, is, you know, definitely for you. If, if you've seen Absinthe in Las Vegas or Opium in Las Vegas, I think you're gonna really enjoy it. Uh, same with uh, Super Freako. There's one in the Cosmopolitan as well. So uh, we knew a little bit what to expect, but yeah, the food was great. The service was really, really good. We had uh, one of the managers there who, you know, went above and beyond to make a list of, uh, I think Valerie was her name, uh, made a list of, you know, all the different places that she thought we should check out while we were here. Unfortunately, we didn't have time to do any of them because we weren't here for very long. But that said, you know, if and when we do come back, at least we know some other places to check out. Is this spot right for you? Um, it's a tough one, really. I think that if you are from the area, I think it's a cool place to visit. You know, like, you know, for us, for example, driving to Niagara Falls an hour and a half, it's not a big deal. So I guess if you're from maybe, uh, New York or, you know, um, and, you know, in the surrounding areas where it's so maybe in a couple hour drive for you or something like that, you know, Philadelphia or, or, or whatever, definitely a cool place to check out. Um, and even if you're not from the area, I really did have a good time here. So if I, I'm, I'm still trying to think like, how do I get here easier? What's an easier way for us to get here? Because I do want to come back. You know, we do have some offers from these hotels. They're actually relatively generous, um, a lot more generous than some of the other casino towns, which we won't mention. So uh, very generous, even the machines, I, we found them to be a little more friendly than some of the ones in Las Vegas, for example. So we did, uh, we both did all right, actually. We both played, I'm probably even maybe up a little bit. I know Cody's up a decent amount. So we did all right, actually, considering how much we did, you know, play in the different casinos and everything. So they were a little looser, a little more friendly. So if you are obviously a gambler, then yeah, Atlantic City's for you. If you're someone who just likes to be on the beach or just wander around that type of environment, I think it's gonna be for you as well. <clears throat> it does seem relatively family friendly. I know, I think it's the showboat has like a water park, for example, you know, most if not all the, the, the hotel, the casino resorts have, you know, pools and things like that. You obviously have the ocean, you've got rides on the pier. You know, I would love to have done the Ferris wheel. We didn't get a chance to do that, but it looks like there's some other ones there. There's games like carnival games and whatnot. It does seem very seasonal. As I said, this does seem like somewhere that in the summer probably would be the best, but uh, you're also probably gonna pay a premium to be here during the summer. So the fact that we're here in October, I think definitely helped kind of keep our costs. Well, I mean, we had comps, but I'm sure that uh, we might not have had comps, especially over a weekend in the summer. So I think it was a good chance for us to take advantage. It wasn't crazy, crazy busy as well because it is in the sort of the down season. You know, it did get colder at nights on the, on, you know, the boardwalk and everything, but all in all, we still, really had a good time. So I would say that there's a pretty wide audience that this could work for. I just wish the main thing is that it was easier to get here. So, you know, Cody and I were even saying like, if there was some kind of a, a train or something that could get you here faster, if the, I know there are buses, but even the buses from what I've seen can take 12 to 24 hours to get here, which is, I mean, I don't know if I could handle being on a bus that long. So. You know, to drive here, it is a bit strenuous, especially if you are, you know, the only person doing the driving. It, it does, it's a lot. It's a lot of sitting. It's a lot of, you know, having to pay attention and sort of be aware of your surroundings at all times and everything. So it is a lot, but you know, if you are able to fly here, if you're able to get here a little bit easier, if you're, you know, a little bit closer, then I would definitely say, you know, 
check it out. But even still, like, you know, when we went to the show last night, there was a, a couple in front of us that were from Whitby. And, you know, if you're f familiar with, you know, Toronto, it's, uh, you know, about a 40 minute, five minute or so drive from maybe, yeah, 30 to 45 minute or so drive from Toronto. So not that far. So, you know, uh, at least it was nice to see that other people had come, you know, to visit from a long distance. Like we saw license plates on the highway from, you know, Florida, Delaware, et cetera. So we weren't the only crazy people driving all the way to Atlantic City. Anyway, that probably is going to do it for, you know, our overall experience at Harrah's, at Atlantic City. I know this review kind of did touch on Atlantic City as a, you know, as a whole, not just uh, Harrah's. And I think a lot of that comes from the fact that we did kind of do a lot of exploring outside of our hotel. If this was somewhere that we would have come more often, I think we would have been able to hang out just in Harrah's and sort of just focus on Harrah's. But because we had, this is our first time here, we really wanted to try and get a taste of all of Atlantic City or at least as much as we could. So unfortunately that is sort of why we didn't get to do too much of Harrah's. So I am going to commit myself to, you know, try and come back here and film a little bit more. Um, you know, we'd love to check out Ocean, for example. Uh, we played in there quite a bit and really enjoyed the vibe in there. Uh, there's some other places that we really enjoyed. You know, Tropicana was a cool place to hang out. Uh, Caesars, uh, Hard Rock. So there were some cool places to hang out for sure. So. I am going to do my best. I'm going to try and commit myself to coming back here, showing you a little bit more of Atlantic City. I know, you know, my channel does feature a lot of, you know, Las Vegas, Niagara Falls, uh, Windsor, Detroit, etc. And obviously, you know, sprinkling some Toronto in there as well, even though I live there, you think that should be, you know, what I'm showing the most of, but no. So we will definitely try to come back here and show more of, you know, whether it be Harrah's or other hotels or just more things that Atlantic City has to offer. If you want to hear more about my, you know, drive here and and all that there will be a separate video for that as well so keep an eye out for that as mentioned there will be a video for uh, super freako the uh, the hook and horse dive bar so keep an eye out for that as well um if you have any questions of about harris or atlantic city or anything like that please leave them below um it's helpful to other travelers because they may have the same questions as you you know if i happen to miss something for example it's also helpful for me to sort of keep in mind for things to include in future videos it also helps with the algorithm on youtube to make sure that other people sort of spread it any interaction you have with my videos whether you like them comment on them uh, share them. If you aren't currently subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. There's a button right there. It's totally free for you. And it really does help me keep delivering this free content to you. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much for your ongoing support. I really do appreciate it. Um, you know, I know my, my channel kind of bounces around from, as I said, you know, from Vegas to Niagara Falls to, you know, Toronto to here and there and everywhere. So, you know, even if it's a video that maybe doesn't interest you directly, I do still appreciate that you, you know, you stick around because you know that there will be probably something that does interest you in the pipeline anyway we really need to get ourselves packed up and ready to go because we're probably going to have an early morning tomorrow so once again this is daniel spot right leave atlantic city we'll see you in the next one bye